Good day, stock investors, subscribers, retirees, and everybody in between. Welcome to this special episode on stock investing. Today, I'll be talking about a stock some of you would know. This is the Del Monte Freefords A1 stock. And why did I choose this stock? Stay tuned and find out why. In the meantime, I invite you to subscribe and click the like button. Please comment on this episode so I can improve future episodes. Also, I'm using an upgraded microphone. This is the Samsung Q2U Dynamic Mic. I got this from, on, uh, from a store online because of the good reviews. Pakicomment naman po kung nag-improve ang aking audio from the previous caveman sound. Salamat po. Now let's proceed. I'll be discussing the following topics. Overview of the Del Monte company, the nature of the stock, the pros and cons to buy or not to buy, and some key takeaways. But first, a trivia question. The tropical fruit pineapple is a a berry, b cone, c pine, d apple. I'll give you five seconds to choose starting now. Thank you and congratulations to all who got the correct answer. The correct answer is A, berry. Let me give a brief overview of Del Monte. It is a Filipino multinational holding company incorporated as an international company in 1999. It was admitted to the Singapore Exchange in August also of the same year. It debuted in the PSE in June 2013. Also, according to the PSE website, Del Monte is an investment holding company with subsidiaries that are principally engaged in the growing, processing, developing, distributing, selling uh, of packaged fruits and vegetables, canned and fresh pineapple, pineapple concentrate, tropical mixed fruit, tomato-based products and other food products, mainly under the brand names of Del Monte, SNW, Contadina, College Inn, and other brands. The company also has subsidiaries, including wholly owned ones, and some of them are the Del Monte Pacific Resources Limited, DMPL India, and many other subsidiaries, other subsidiaries. Del Monte is a company with good fundamentals. It has a global brand footprint with well-known premium Del Monte and SW, SW brands. Long brand heritage spanning 130 years. Even when I was a kid, I only knew of one brand when it comes to pineapple juice and ketchup. That's Del Monte. It has a good local franchise leading with leading market shares in the U.S. and the Philippines. As for the stock, this is a dollar-denominated preferred stock with the symbol DMPA1, which was issued on April 2017. The stock is perpetual, but the company has the option to redeem the preferreds within five years from the date of issue. The dividend rate is 6.625% per annum and is given twice a year. So for example, what you get in October is 50% of 6.625 or 3.3125%. And the other half, half you get six months later. The price of the stock based on the closing prices from August to September 11 was between a low of $9.70 and a high of $10.30. The issue price of the stock is $10 per share. There is no final tax on the dividend 
but you'll have to declare the dividend income when you file your income tax return. So what are the pros and cons of investing in the stock? Let's discuss the pros. First, the stock has an attractive dividend rate of 6.625%. You cannot find any dollar-denominated stock in the Philippines with this dividend rate. This rate is higher than most of the preferred dividend rates of peso-denominated stocks, which is between 4 to 6%. Unlike Philippine stocks where dividends are subject to a 10% final tax, dividends on the DMPA1 are not subject to any final tax. A dollar time deposit in the Philippine bank, in a Philippine bank for example, with a minimum placement of $1,000, which just earns 1%, is slapped a final tax of 15% on the interest. You don't have that in the DMPA-1. The stock has a board lot of 100 shares, and if you acquire the stock for, say, $10 per share, the minimum investment can be $1,000 with a rate of 6.625 and without any tax on the dividends. Next, if you have money to buy the stock, but what you have is pesos, you can buy the dollars now at a much cheaper rate as compared to the rate at the beginning of the year. As of September 11, the BSP reference rate for the US dollars is 48.578 as compared to the January 2 rate of 50.802. So the dollar now is 4.4% lower or 2 pesos and 22 centavos cheaper than it was on January 2. Finally, Del Monte has consistently declared dividends on their preferred stock since its issue in 2017, even if its financials showed a loss in 2018. Now, here are the reasons why you should not consider buying the stock. First, losses on the financial statements in 2018 and 2020. This is the, oh, these are the financials of Del Monte for a five-year period, 2016 to 2020, taken from the Del Monte website. The red box is the profit or loss after a, uh, the one-time expense. Del Monte had losses during the fiscal year 2018 and 2020. In 2018, Del Monte reported a $36.5 million loss while in 2020, it declared a loss of $81.4 million. The $81.4 million loss was due to a one-time expense as a result of a shutdown of four U.S. plants. Without this one-time expense, the company would have had a net income of $32.2 million. In other words, Del Monte incurred losses in 2020, but operationally, they were profitable. The loss was incurred in order to further streamline its product, its product line and operations. Then we have foreign exchange risk. If you purchase the stock during your uh, using your pesos to acquire dollars, you have what you call foreign exchange risk. Since you acquired a dollar asset using pesos, the rate at which you bought the dollars may not move in your favor should you exchange your dollars back into pesos in the future. For example, on day one, you exchange your pesos into dollars at $50 or 50 pesos per dollar. Uh, if on day 30 you suddenly need pesos and have to convert your dollars to pesos, but the rate on day 30 is now 45 you lost 5 pesos per dollar. That potential loss between now and the time you convert the dollars to pesos is foreign exchange risk. Finally, only accredited brokers can trade the stock. The PSE requires a special accreditation since the stock is dollar denominated. If one would like to buy or sell the stock, 
Go to an accredited broker. There are just a few. My broker BDO Securities and BDO Nomura are accredited brokers. Now that you know the pros and cons on the stock, it's your decision. Is purchasing the stock recommended for everybody? No, it is not. Investing in the stock is recommended for sophisticated and aggressive investors only. And since these investors know the risk involved in purchasing the stock, the attractive dividend rate is somehow counterbalanced by the company's financials in which Del Monte sustained losses in two out of five years. To those who are considering investing in this stock, consult your favorite wealth advisor, relationship manager, or account officer, or broker before you part with your money. Just some final words, weigh the rewards and risks in investing in the stock. As I have stated earlier, the stock is for sophisticated and aggressive investors. An attractive interest rate and a favorable exchange rate would be the pros for buying the stock. On the other hand, company losses and FX risk may make you decide to stay away from this investment. Research on the stock. Ask your favorite wealth advisor or broker for additional information. The decision to invest in the stock is yours. If you think the rewards outweigh the risks, and if the stock suits your risk appetite, this is a good opportunity to buy. If this is does not suit your risk appetite, and if you think you will be disadvantaged, don't buy the stock. And finally, invest with money you can afford to lose. Since it's your money, it's your decision. Know what you're investing. Don't invest in something you don't know. That's it. If you learned something on this episode, I invite you to click the subscribe button and the like button. Please comment on the presentation or topics you want discussed. I leave you this quote from Benjamin Franklin, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Thank you for viewing this episode and see you on the next one. This is Benji Chidoro saying thank you and bye for now.